Alberta Fly Fishing Adventures with Alan Bryce. What a trip that was. Nice slow flowing river for brown trout in southern Alberta. We hooked into multiple fish on those, on those caddis flies, which was just a blast. Al has been guiding for longer than I've been alive. There's a place where everything makes sense. Wading a blue ribbon stream, on a boat on the ocean, or casting into the pristine waters of an untouched lake. For as long as I can remember, I've been obsessed with the wild. Fishing has always been a way of life for me and my family. Come along and enjoy some of our adventures. Welcome to Wild Angles. What on earth are we pulling up right now? I can't believe it, look this side's of its head! What a crazy fight! This fish does not even fit in my net. That is a solid, solid fish. That is a tank of seven. I'm pretty fussy with the lines. So yeah, when the when the line is right, it just, it just goes it nicely. Happens. Natural, so that way. Sweet. So why don't we come up here where we can get some casting room. So start close and work out or? Yeah, do a few casts like 15. The problem with the wind is every time it doesn't work, we go harder, further, harder, further. And what it should be is shorter and shorter and shorter and shorter. Okay. When the rod is up like this, it is easily 10 times more efficient at loading than when it's at 10 o'clock. I just think of kind of casting with the tip of the rod. A little flick, a little flick. When they stop, the rod throws a line. When I power through, that's my arm and the whole path of the hand and the rod tip is all totally way too much through an arc right. for casting in the wind. So it's just shorter and shorter. It'll go further and further. Okay, don't let the wind get you, get you working too hard. Yeah. There's a lot of fish happening in here though. Like I, I took a second there after that guy jumped. I saw two rat was pretty much snuggled right up against shore over here. There's one, two, and then there's another one that sipped ba uh, back below this corner. Yeah. So they're down there for sure. Got him. Good set. Finally connected to our first fish of the day here.
Right on. Throat. Rest this down here. Well, I can see the hook, that's good. They've been really hammering some caddis these days and getting in deep. Look at the colors on them, eh? They're gorgeous. Yeah, it's beautiful. They have a really light back compared to lots of the browns oh, that I've yeah. caught. Nice hook set there right in the lip. Beautiful fish, holy cow. They got teeth though. Yeah, they do. Brown's got teeth. Nice. You got it. Look at that, gorgeous brown. Absolute stunner, holy cow. Beauty. Nice. That was pretty good. <laughs> Sweet. <laughs> He engulfed that caddis. I know, I'm glad it was in his lip and not down deeper. Yeah, right? Yeah, that was a good set. Wild Angles is brought to you by All About Trout, Bass Dash, Cooley Outdoor, Hard Knocks Brewery, Maui Jim Sunglasses, National Emergency Safety Services, Pro Patria Coffee Company, Red Shed Fly Shop, Red Wings Tackle, Thule, and Tournament Marine and Power Sports. Had a swipe, no commitment. So I guess we'll move on to a different fish and then we'll come back to him and try a different fly maybe. I know he's in that area though, so kind of having difficulties nailing down where a fish is gonna be. And uh, because of the wind and because of the conditions, we really can't just cover all the water like we would like to. So uh, what we're gonna do is we're just gonna take a couple minutes. We're gonna sit down in the bush out of the wind and watch the water. If we see any fish rising, then we'll go target that location because they might, it might be one or two fish sitting behind a big boulder or something like that, but there's a lot of big boulders, so who knows which one they're behind. So we'll take a minute and we'll watch and see if we see anybody feeding. Okay, so we're sitting in the grass for just a couple of minutes there, and we saw a really, really, really nice brown come out of the water just up in this scene here. I saw another little surface there. So there's some fish feeding right there. So, I'm gonna sneak up the grass line, try to get a proper cast with the wind direction, see if we can't connect with this fish. Fingers crossed. Unfortunately, they never jump in front of the camera though. That's just how it's gotta be. All right, let's do this. There's one. Oh! Well, let's see if we can get another good cast like that.
in the net. Beauty, beauty, and see that fly pops out so easily. Oh yeah, that's killer. And look at that stunner. Oh, what a beautiful fish. See you later. How sweet is that? Oh man, brown trout get me going like nothing else. That is awesome. Let's do it again. <laughs> yes. Closed captioning is brought to you by National Emergency Safety Services. Strength in emergency. So you can see there's all these boulders and rocks and stuff sticking up in the river. It doesn't really matter how deep or how shallow it is. Any one of these boulders could be holding a fish. Oh, there's one. Wow. Holy, it's just flying. Gorgeous fish. Come on, buddy. Got him. Yes. Oh, another beauty, beauty brown. All right, and you can see that that fly is just stuck perfectly in the corner of his mouth. Exactly what you want. Now it's funny, this guy actually struck when I was stripping in. I wasn't really ready for the strike, but he hammered it and I connected. So make sure you wet your hands. Look at me, just full of attitude. What a beauty little brown. Gorgeous fish. And we'll just let him go. I gotta say, that is, that is hard to beat hammering browns in tiny, tiny water like this with dry flies. Oh, sweet man. Yes. So Al is just walking up right now, so uh, we're just gonna move off of this spot. We'll make a quick plan, see what the, see what the next goal is here. Yep, got one.
healthy little guy. Yep. Gotta educate those youngsters too. <laughs> Coming to you. Ooh. Nice, there we go. Look how pretty he is, look at the red. See you later, buddy. Right on, thanks Al. Killer. Hey, that worked. Yeah, so, uh, like you were saying, a little bit down, down and across, and then it'll be, hit that water and your line will be tight, and it'll pop it straight away. Right, tight. Yeah, and just work it where you know you need to work it. I mean, yeah, I had, I had three rises off that rock there. Yeah, okay. Go, go down and see if I can get that big guy to come up. Yeah. There's one really big one that did the same thing that they were doing down there, come flying right out of the water. You'll be looking for that bug then. Were they doing that on your fly, like coming right out of the water like that? No, they were chomping it. Oh yeah, sweet. And like, big set of jaws and lips. Just like, oh, a dream, man. That's, that's a dream to see that. <laughs> yeah. It's that shallow stuff. Okay. Cross them down, and, uh, and if it's not popping, lift your rod as you're doing that. And it'll increase the speed of that bug. Okay. Oh, got him! That's a nice fish. That's a real nice fish. Yeah, there we go. Oh, look at that. Wow, beauty. Yeah, we got him. That's a good one, hey? Nice buck. And there he is. Look at that fish. Aren't they just beautiful? We won't waste too much time keeping them out of the water. Thanks for the fight. Beautiful. Oh, that was a good one, Al. That was a really good one. Sweet. Yes, this is a really good day. Oh man, that's so fun. Oh, sweet. Thanks for joining us on today's episode of Wild Angles. I'm here with Al Bryce from Alberta Fly Fishing. Al? Yeah, I've been down here uh, 25 years. My wife owns the Crow's Nest Cafe and Fly Shop and our guiding business is Alberta Fly Fishing. And uh, this is what we do. This is where we do it. Follow us on social media at Wild Angles TV.